Hello, today I'll be reviewing this, the Air Things Wave Plus, a device that continuously monitors the air quality in your home. Setup is easy, batteries are included and there's a plate to uh, connect the device to the wall with a screw if you want. It's magnetic and the device clips on. Alternatively, you can just place it on a table or a shelf. Now, they recommend, first of all, that it, the device calibrates itself for seven days. I've had one on a table in my living room now for about 14 days, so that should give plenty of data on which to base some first impressions, especially as it starts recording from the moment you switch it on. Now, the simplest way to assess your air quality is brush your hand over the device. It gives you a, a sort of traffic light readout, green for good, orange for average, red for danger. Do something about it. But if you want more detailed information, you can uh, create an account, link to the app via Bluetooth, which is available for iOS and Android. And there's also a web browser version for an even more comprehensive range of information. So what exactly is it measuring? Well, first of all, radon, which is a colorless, odorless, radioactive gas produced by the uranium that occurs in soils and certain rocks. This can build up through the ground in your home. It's a big problem here in the UK. Deaths from lung cancer caused by radon are currently running at about 1,100 a year. Now, how susceptible your home is to this depends very much uh, on the rock type that it's built on. And uh, the government uh, produces a map which rates how likely it is that your, um, your home will suffer from a radon problem. In the clear areas of the map, the likelihood's only about one in a hundred. In the more densely colored areas of the map, this risk rises to one in three. So in those areas, you definitely need to check things out. Now, the potential benefits of this device is that uh, it gives you a continuous reading um, and you can also assess the effectiveness of any measures you're taking to mitigate the radon buildup. Next, the more familiar CO2 or carbon dioxide. Now, in the home, this is mainly caused by human breathing and at excessive levels, it can cause drowsiness, confusion and headaches. Now, on average, happily, my living room here is uh, well within that level, although I do notice that uh, we can have peaks rising above that, perhaps when lots of us are in the room talking together, generating lots of carbon dioxide. Next, volatile organic compounds. They're quite common in the home. Things like air fresheners, cleaning fluids, glues, paint, they all produce them. They're not necessarily harmful, but they can be if you're exposed to them for a long time. What the Air Things device doesn't tell you, of course, is what's causing those increases and whether those compounds are harmful or not. The next thing Air Things have on their list of factors to be worried about is humidity. I'm not sure you actually need to monitor humidity constantly. I mean, it doesn't vary that much. Cheap uh, humidity meters have been available for homes for decades now. And I think if you get a sort of overall reading, you can keep things under control. And this continuous readout is overkill. So overall, I think the, uh, the Waves Plus could be useful if you live in a radon area. It's also quite a useful memory jogger to get you ventilating your room when uh, carbon dioxide levels build up. But I'd like to see it measuring some of the things that other devices traditionally measure in the home, you know, smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detection. I'd like to see that all built in to one unit. I think there's still a lot of progress to be made.